Bruce Height was left a quadriplegic after a swimming accident years ago. He became passionate about the Paralympics, competing in Athens, Atlanta and Barcelona. But as he aged, he found a new passion, the Purple Martin Migratory Bird. He talked about building a bird condo with an engineer friend, and he soon realized that a hand crank is usually needed for that. And because I'm a quadriplegic, I would not have the strength to raise and lower that. So I suggested to him, what about a, uh, a winch on there and a 12 volt battery? His friend told him that that wouldn't work and instead he created a structure with a battery and a winch. With approval from the Regina Housing Authority, the bird condo went up 11 years ago and Purple Martins have visited every summer since. Now the Regina Housing Authority has ordered Height to remove it and on Friday it will be taken down. The removal is supposed to happen tomorrow. My friend will come from Assiniboia with a trailer to, and they will take it off the property. And how does that make you feel? Well, I'm devastated, devastated, devastated. He's been going back and forth with the Housing Authority and even started a petition and collected signatures from dozens of other residents. He still dreams that the condo can stay, although he isn't hopeful that it will. There's no reason why it can't be. It's, 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 it's proved it. It's proved the test of time. It's been here 11 years. And they're using the safety issue to get rid of it. In an emailed statement, the Regina Housing Authority said the bird condo is a safety hazard because of open wiring and an exposed car battery. It argues that now is the opportune time for removal because the birds have migrated south. Height considers himself to be the Purple Martin landlord, and he doesn't know what he will do after the bird condo comes down. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.